What's going on guys, Oddman MC back at you with another build tutorial video today, and today I'm going to show you how to build this modern style house. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is find your area. This looks like a pretty good area. We are actually right by my first tutorial house. If you guys want to, go and check that out in the card up above right now. And you're going to want to gather your materials. Like most of modern houses that I've been building, we're going to be using white concrete and we're also going to have a wood feature. Okay, so I'm going to have an oak fence, oak planks, white concrete, quartz stairs, uh, light gray stain glass panes and then we're going to have a bunch of different stripped woods kind of like we did in our first modern build next you're going to take your oak planks and you're going to build it into a 17 by 9 box just like this we're going to make uh spots for our doors right here this is how whoops hey there's a cat <laughs> this is how we're going to get into our base and then we're going to build this up by five just like this and we're going to go all the way around we're gonna leave it a three block high area because we're gonna fix some glass panes in here later so go ahead and just build it up by five all the way around these creatures kept getting in my way and then they just disappeared i don't know what happened before we add the next layer we're gonna come in and make room for just a little window originally in this design i had the window kind of up top against the uh we kind of flush with the top part of the wood, but I didn't really like that. So we're just going to make a small window just like that. And we're going to frame this in later with some steps. Next, you're going to grab your white concrete and you're going to build the base of the top layer. It's going to hang off by one on this end and it's going to come around and we're going to make a 21 by 12 box. So it's going to hang off this end quite a bit. And I'll show you guys what that looks like right now okay so this is what the base frame should look like and i wanted to show you guys a little trick that i learned that has helped me so much when preparing videos like this if you come to this corner and you go slash fill as long as you're on java by the way and you do tab over three times you're going to get the coordinates for this block so we know that the first one that's what i'm going to remember is negative 398 because if you see down below it cuts it off so i'm going to come over to this and i'm going to face a different direction and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do slash fill tab over you can see that's the coordinates for this block but then we're going to add the coordinates for the other block so it was negative three nine eight six nine negative 118 and then what we need to do is we just need to add in a block so we're going to type in minecraft because it identifies what object we're using and we're using white concrete so we're going to do white underscore con and i'm just going to tab it on over and what's going to do it's going to fill in the rest of that so it makes it so much easier so we don't have to layer in blocks and you can see that i messed up a little bit i don't want it this far over so i'm going to fix that really quick and then we'll move on with the video and there we go. I think I mistyped a number because it shot over this way and an overhang on this end. And we don't want that. We want it to look just like this. So now what you're going to do next is go to the corners and you're just going to build these up by five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five, just like this. And then what we're going to do is basically just make a giant hollow uh, box of white concrete, kind of like we did with the wooden box down below. All right. So we got this filled in. So it's a white box and hey, what are you doing here? Get out of here. You guys too. As I was saying, what we're going to do is we're going to come to this front corner and we're actually going to take out uh, these middle blocks. Didn't mean to take that part out. And we're just going to build out, let's say by, I think by five. And then this way by three, just like this next what we're going to do is we're going to take our oak fences and we're just going to build kind of like an accent wall um i've seen this on some hotels and a lot of modern houses where they have kind of like these bamboo type structures just like this all the way around and it just kind of adds like a just kind of an extra wood element that we have down below 
I forgot to include it in the beginning, but you will actually have some gray concrete. That's going to be more of a accent kind of hidden wall. I'm going to take this out really quick so I can get in. Um, that's just going to come around this way and act as a kind of an entrance to the balcony from the inside. And what you can actually do to add a little more color on the inside of the house is just build the wall all the way across this way leaving a little bit of a doorway for the bedroom. I'm going to light this up as we go, but yeah, you can just come on in with that gray concrete just like this. We'll add our door. Actually, we'll leave that open. I like that more. Okay, so the next part you don't have to do. You can leave it just like this, but for me, I'm a stickler for architecture to where stuff is not supported in some way. So I like to have just kind of these end posts of oak fences just to kind of add some support to the structure um, again you don't have to do this this is just something that I prefer I like to have it like it's just supporting this end of the house so this doesn't just like crumble down it won't actually in the game but this is something that I prefer to do now that we have two floors going on right now we need to be able to access the second floor now if you're in creative mode you could just fly up but what are we talking about? We're building this in survival, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take out this section of the white ceiling or the floor, depending on which level you're on, and we're just going to build up a staircase going, whoop, going like this all the way down to the floor of the first floor so that we have access to the second floor and the balcony, just like this. So once you have that done, you can go on in and just place quartz stairs just like this um, it adds a little bit more depth to it kind of like a real sta staircase and just some more you know depth to the build now while we have our oak stairs we might as well start putting in windows to kind of bring some light in now I'm gonna come on inside here and what you're gonna want to do is just find this space this is gonna be a one wide block and you're just gonna take out these blocks here leave a two wide gap take these guys out two wide gap so that way it's even on this side, and then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So, two wide gap, take these guys out, two wide gap, take these guys out, two wide gap, and so on and so forth. I'm just going to leave this wall right here because we can actually put something here if we would like to. But this will create plenty of natural light for the top part of our build, and we're just going to frame each of these in with some quartz stairs like this. And once those are done, we're going to come in and add our glass panes for our windows and it looks really nice really modern and just really sleek and I like that now we're going to frame in the bottom window this is just a nice big picture window and actually why don't we make it just a little bit bigger we're gonna frame this in with some spruce stairs this adds a little bit of contrast with the oak planks and the white uh, concrete up top and it really adds just a little bit more color to the build um, Modern builds tend to be a little kind of blase, I would say, where they're just white and gray. And the wood element is something you can add to really just kind of add more pop. And I love these glass panes. Look at that. I love the shine of this. This shader pack is fantastic with that. Next, we want to start framing in our doors and our windows. So we're going to come on down here to the first floor. We're just going to build our light gray glass panes all the way around like this so we have a doorway. Um, one thing I like to do with my modern builds is just have an open doorway. These are more aesthetic. They're not, I mean, I don't usually would, I wouldn't build one just to live in. Um, some people might, uh, they're, I mean, it's kind of up to you. I, for me personally, I just, I like the aesthetic look of modern builds. So if I were building a modern city, I would build a lot more of these, but I like just having kind of the open doors. And we're going to do the same thing right here. And actually I might take out another pillar of this uh, gray concrete as well, just to kind of make it a little more symmetrical at the bottom. Okay, so I didn't include the polished andesite, cobblestone, the birch trap doors, or spruce leaves, or end rods in with the building materials because this isn't something you have to do. This is something I just choose to do with my modern builds. And I'm going to just start building out the walkway with some polished andesite. And this is going to go all the way around to the house because we're actually going to build a little kind of grill out area, which I think would be really cool. Um, and then we're going to line it with the cobblestone like this. Alright, now that our walkway is complete right here, we're going to add in just some 
lighting fixtures for some end rods, add some spruce leaves on top. These are my favorite kind of leaves. I just like how they're a little bit more solid than some of the others, and they have a really good color that contrasts with the, you know, the block palette that we chose. And then we're going to frame it in just like this with some birch uh, trap doors. And you can do this kind of wherever you would like. If You could do this as a leading up to the pathway as we've done in other builds. But this is kind of what I like to add just to kind of add some color and contrast with uh, just the landscape of the build. Back on the inside, again, this is something that is just totally optional. If you don't want to do this, you can surely just use kind of what we've built so far. But what we're going to do here, or what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to take out a 3x3 three three area. And what we're going to do is kind of build like a little balcony out the back. One thing I like about a lot of modern builds is there's a lot of natural sunlight that gets let in. And a lot of that has to do with just the balconies they have. They look really fantastic. You can build this with oak slabs if you want, but I have oak planks on hand, and that's just what we're going to do. And I'm going to build it a little bit more this way as like a little overhang for a kind of backyard area. And then once you have that, we're going to make some posts with the fence as well, all the way down, kind of like we did on the side of the house, just like this. Boom. And then make sure we have a nice rail. And actually, let's try out the glass panes. I think the glass panes would make a really nice handrail for this back portion. Yep, that looks pretty good. It's a little bit different than what the front kind of adds. And you could add a little canopy over this and stuff like that. I kind of, I really like what we're doing here. So let's frame in the door just like this. And I know it's not even with the doorway, but that is perfectly fine. It just adds just a little bit more uh, kind of texture to it. I really like that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our stripped wood and we're going to just throw it on the ground just like this and then we're going to close our eyes, snap our fingers, and it's going to look like this. So if you've seen my previous modern build, I did a very similar floor to this. Again, it's just a randomized kind of texture using the stripped wood. It just adds a modern feel. I've seen a lot of kitchens like this, a lot of kind of living room floors like this, and I really love that we can do this with just the stripped wood. Probably one of my favorite features that we've had added to the game. And with that, our modern house is complete. Now, if you'd like to add some extra windows in here, go ahead. Again, this is just me showing you some basic ideas of what I like to do. If you want to make this taller so it doesn't feel like you can hit your head when you jump, that's perfectly fine. And just make the windows bigger to add more light, you sure can. I'm going to take out these torches and I'm going to decorate this place because, you know, that's all we have left to do is decorate and make it look nice and cozy. So I'm going to jump into that. Hope you guys enjoy. And with that, our modern house is done. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, the only thing I did change was I did add some spruce trap doors to kind of break up the floor a little bit and add some glowstone underneath just to kind of add some light. Otherwise, with this shader pack at least, it does look a little kind of dark. And I did add some carpet up here with some armor stands with some different armor that we could collect, a little enchanting area, and just a little bit of a bedroom. We use the blue orchids, of course, because they are my favorite flower in the game, and some kind of modernized bookshelves with some end rods for some light, and of course we got our balcony. Look at that view. It's a beautiful view. All right, guys, but that is all the time I have for you today, guys. If you liked the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more, and hit that bell so you always know when I'm uploading content. And always remember, the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands. Peace, guys.